Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. We have a Amazon coloring book haul. <laughs> I have five coloring books here that I am going to do flip throughs of. They're all from different illustrators. Um, so let's do some flip throughs. The first book is another book by Shintaka Harath. Um, he has the August Reverie series, books one, two, and three, I believe. Um, and these are just gorgeous. They're um, by Vivid Publishers. This one is called Wild Phantasm, Phantasm, Fantasy Art Adult Coloring Book. Isn't she gorgeous? Love these flowers. So this is the front page, front cover, and then the back cover, as usual. Gives you thumbnails of the pictures inside. So let's take a look at this book. Here we have the title page. This did come out last year already, so it is not a brand new book. It, it you know, I just didn't have it yet. Here's an introduction. Lists his uh, social media. Then I do like how he does this. He gives you a contents page and he shows you which picture is on which page. So if, you know, for instance, you love this one, you can go right to page 33 and then he gives you the names of each picture also. He names each one. And then we get right into the pictures themselves. So on the opposite page, he gives you the name of that particular gal. <laughs> Isn't she pretty? Look at them horns. So you got hair here to do, you got flowers, you got gems, leaves, all kinds of things. Ooh. Isn't she something? Oh, isn't that pretty? She's a swan. She's a rhinoceros. So yes, he does very different kind of work. She's a royal fly catcher. So you can also practice your feathers, which I am awful at. <laughs> She's a cobra. can do your scales, a lion. So these gals are all, you know, like animals, birds, reptiles. She is a great horned owl. I just love how he draws the women. Long-tailed widow bird. And his flowers are stunning too. Look at this dragonfly. Oh. Can't you just see how you could do these wings? Gorgeous. Porcupine. That's different. Don't normally see porcupines. <laughs> Move you over a little bit so you can see the other page better. A fox. Don't know how to pronounce that. Capra Ibex, something like that. Must be a type of deer. Oh, butterfly. Another gorgeous one. Tufted Coquette, must be a type of bird. A tiger with tiger lilies. <laughs> a hare. So we do have a rabbit. Water buffalo. Elephant. Did I skip one? Nope. This is Amazon paper, so it is your thinner paper. A horse. A 
Siamese fighting fish. Again, more scales to do. Boy, that could be really pretty too. Can practice bubbles. Fennec fox. Love them flowers. Don't know this either. It must be a type of bird. Hoopo. A deer. And that is it. I have a blank sheet at the back. And then we do have his other books listed back here. We do have the August Reverie. August Reverie 2, which is called Epic. Then we have Saga, Fire, and Water. I believe I did do flip-throughs of both the August Reverie books because I do have those. And I thought I had August Reverie 3, which is called Expressions, um, but I can't find it over on my bookshelf. Then he has Renaissance and Botanical Animals, which I don't have. So he's quite, he has quite a a few books out. I don't think though these are all by him. They are by Vivid Publishers though, who is the publisher that you know publishes his work. And you can get a copy of a free PDF if you go to vividpublishers.com. You can add this book to your cart. It gives you a promo code which I won't show. Um, and then it uh, will be zero dollars and you can download the book. And some more or a, another blank sheet in the back. So that is the first book, Wild Phantasm. Then we have beautiful flowers coloring book. And this must be put out by Sirius Publishing. Yes, it has Sirius down here. Now, this is one of those books that shows you what the flower looks like, and then you can, uh, you know, reproduce it in the picture. Here is an introduction written by Diana Vowles. So I don't know if she is the illustrator of this book. Now it says the plates in this book are drawn from, and that looks French, but it stands for Choice of the Most Beautiful Flowers by Pierre Joseph Redoubt, I don't know. Published in 1827. Okay, you will probably find that colored pencils are the easiest tools to use here, blending them to achieve a richly colored finish and following the natural direction of the subject, subject textures. Alternatively, try watercolor paints and just some more tips there. Here is a list of all of the flowers in there, or they call them plates. And everything is in color, isn't that nice? And here are the rest of them. So as you can see, there are a lot of pictures in this book. There are 44. Then it gives you the full size picture, it gives you the proper name of the flower. So the scientific name, if you will then gives you the picture to color and it gives you the English version, um, the name that we understand better um, of the flower. And the line art in here is not real black black, it almost looks like a real dark brown. So we have the Crown Imperial yellow variety. Now for the vast majority of us, it definitely ain't going to look like that, right? But it does give you an idea. Um, and, no, no, you know, there's nothing to say. You have to color it exactly like that. But, again, that is the purpose for having them over here. Now, the problem, you wouldn't really be able to use alcohol markers in here, right? Because 
of the picture being on the reverse side. So you would almost have to use um, colored pencils in this book. And like it states, you probably would want to anyhow to blend the colors together and whatnot. Although some of us do like to use, you know, an alcohol marker base and then use colored pencils on top. But again, in here, you would not want to do that. Amaryllis. Bunch flowered narcissus. Narcissus? No, narcissist. I don't think it's narcissist. <laughs> Japanese camellia. Ooh, is that pretty? And our tulip. Gorgeous flowers, right? Common hyacinth. And our poppy. Dutch iris. Love irises. Oh, I think those are so gorgeous. Blanket flower. Snap dreams. Blue false indigo. Never heard of them either. Of course, as I've stated in the past, I don't know all my flowers. Chinese peony. Winged stem passion flower. Hmm. It's a lily. K N Y S N A. Fringed iris. I've never seen those. Neat. Harlequin flower. Oh, those are pretty. Angel's trumpet. Crown imperial. Blue Egyptian water lily or blue lotus. Hanging bells. Ooh, look at how these leaves are done. That's really neat. Oh boy. Hippastrum variety. Hippiastrum. That's what the word looks like, but I'm sure that's not how it's pronounced. <laughs> Lady slipper orchid. Arip. Or mountain cowslip. Tulip tree or yellow poplar. Blue plantain lily. Oh, I've seen those already. Didn't know that's what they were called. <laughs> Sulfur rose. Oh, that is gorgeous. Love yellow roses. Sweet peas. Look at all the different colors in there. Oh. Dwarf morning glory. Love morning glories too. Yeah, I'd never be able to replicate that, but it would be fun trying, wouldn't it? Oleander. Snake vine. Heart's ease. Remind me of violets. Cabbage rose. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous too. Mm. Common peony. Let's move you over a little. Spanish iris. Hmm, okay. Grandiflora. Poppy anemone or Spanish marigold. Wow. Very different looking than our standard marigolds. The leaves look the same, but Dahlia. Dalmatian iris. Oh, again, gorgeous. Morning glories. Fern leaf peony. Nettle leaved bellflower. 
China Aster. And I think this may be the last one, which is a bouquet of camellias, narcissus, and pansies. Isn't that gorgeous? Love how it gives you an idea of how to color a white flower. You know, with your shades of gray in here. That could come in really handy. Not just for flowers, but like for anything that's white, like snow and things like that. Use the same principle. And that is that. Is that not gorgeous? Wow. I hadn't looked through the whole book yet until then. <laughs> Love it. Then, Coloring Book Cafe's Dragonfly Book. This is one of their newer books. Name plate page. No, sorry, title page. Name plate page. <laughs> and here we have the little thumbnails of all of the pictures in this book. Can test out some, you know, coloring combos, things like that. And then we get into eventually the coloring book itself with the full size pictures. I just thought this could be so much fun to do the wings and whatnot, all different ways. And then the gorgeous flowers, of course, with them. Here we have all different kinds of dragonflies. Here we have the big wings. So pretty. I don't buy all of Coloring Book Cafe's books, but there are some that I just think are really pretty. And the detail they put in the wings is just gorgeous. I like that some of them have borders around the pictures. Well, all of them have a standard, you know, border, but some of them have a little bit of a fancier border. That's neat. Oh, this is different. You have the border, but the picture goes outside the border. That's gorgeous with the lily. I guess I never realized how many different types of wings dragonflies have. I suppose just like, you know, butterflies. Here's gigantic <laughs> butter or uh, dragonfly wings. Pretty. Oh, this is a pretty scene, isn't it? Another big dragonfly with some carnations. Oh, another really pretty water scene with the frog. <laughs> Some of these dragonflies might be goners. Huh? <laughs> yeah, so not only are the dragonflies pretty, but beautiful flowers. And then we have a couple sheets of blank paper in the back. On the back cover gives you some sample pictures from inside the book. Okay, so again, that is Dragonfly Coloring Book by Coloring Book Cafe. I will leave links down below in the description to all of these books. Then we have Chibi Girls Coloring Book Volume 3 by April Amber. I do have her Volume 1 and 2, which are just adorable, so I had to get Volume 3. As you can see, this is quite a thick book. Her, her books have a lot of pictures in, and they're just so cute. Copyright page. And we get right into the book itself. 
This is one of those books, just like Jade Summer and Sunlight Drawing. Um, lots of them where they have the black reverse. Um, good and bads on that, as I pointed out in the color and chat, I do believe it's the coloring books with the black backing that have the bend to them, and it must be because of the ink that they print on the reverse side, but yeah, they must do it because these are kind of geared towards coloring with alcohol markers, and you don't see that all on the reverse side then, but I don't know. It, it really messes with the condition of the book, so it's hard to keep them on your bookshelf straight, <laughs> but yeah, the images are just so cute. Very easy, simplistic types of pictures to color, and yeah, uh, alcohol markers work great in these books. Kind of similar to Jade Summer's cute chibi books. Oh, she got married. Little clown. <laughs> Ooh, a pirate. Chibi pirate. Here, we got a drummer. <laughs> That's cute. Uh -uh. Oh, Christmas time. Oh, here we have a Halloween picture, too. So we do have some holidays in this book. Oh, Hawaii. All right, I can see going there right now. Here, you could use it for... Oh no, this is a, a dentist. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Mm, so cute. Love. Could be a Valentine's Day picture. And we got a DJ. Oh, that's cute. Underwater with the fish. <laughs> We have a detective. Oh, that looks like so much fun. And she's got a little teddies with her. And another teddy. <laughs> Supposed to be a hunter or a paint gun, I bet. Because she's got the goggles up here, huh? No, I'm not sure. Paint guns typically aren't long barreled like that, are they? Oh, that's cute. Look at the bunny bringing her flowers. <laughs> oh, we got a burglar. <laughs> Never seen a chibi burglar before, did you? <laughs> Ooh, she looks mad. <laughs> Here's another Christmas one. Oh, cute. <laughs> another musical one. Ooh, fruits and goodies. Aha, uh -huh. little princess. <laughs> Must be an artist. And a gardener who must be singing. <laughs> And we have a queen. Red queen. There's the one where she got married. Oh, wait a minute. So are we... We have duplicates? Yes. Okay, so there are two copies of each picture in here. So here starts the second set. Good thing I recognize that, or I would have been flipping through the whole book and you guys would have seen all the pictures twice. So, yeah, I didn't realize there was a few <laughs> before that. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. All right, so there are two copies of every picture in this book, just like Jade Summer. 
All right, and then finally, we have a Creative Haven book. I did not have this one yet, surprisingly. Butterfly Gardens by Ruth Soffer. Here we have the picture inside. Isn't that gorgeous? This is a Dover coloring book, but the nice thing about the Creative Haven portion of Dover is the pictures are single-sided, perforated, and they're on nicer paper than just your typical Amazon paper. It is thicker, a little bit smoother. They're pretty. So these are kind of detailed, more realistic drawn butterflies and flowers. I thought they were so pretty. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't have this one yet. Oh my, look at that. I'm going to take a sip here quick. Yeah, so they are quite detailed. Now you can either do a lot of shading on these or just, you know, straight color them, of course. Take as long as you need. Now here's a very detailed picture. Wow. Yeah, that one would take a while when you're really up for a challenge. This one too. <laughs> Probably paper, huh? So pretty. How many butterfly lovers out there do we have like me? <laughs> Like I said, lots of flowers too, of course. Butterflies and flowers kind of go hand in hand. Now some of these almost look more like moths. There's a gorgeous one. You could color that one as a monarch, right? Ooh. Must be on thistles. Yeah, so some of these are a little bit easier, but as you've seen, some of them are very detailed. Ooh, that's pretty. Could see, you know, using some like ink tents or watercolor on here. Or you could put, you know, a base down in color over the top of it with pencils after making sure you let it dry completely first because this paper would take watercolor pretty good oh love that one too almost looks like the swallow tail although their back part is typically bigger than that so I'm not sure what that is That must be a moth. Should have been called butterflies and moths, not. There's the one I'm thinking of. Is that the lunar moth? And here on the back, as in all Creative Haven books, we have a picture colored on the back cover and the inside the front cover. Gorgeous. And then we have a partially colored picture on the back. All right, so that is Butterfly Gardens. We have April Amber's Volume 3 of Chibi Girls, Dragonfly Book by Coloring Book Cafe, Beautiful Flowers. Does it, you know, other than the author of, or the illustrator of the original flowers, it doesn't really state, you know, how they did the version to color in. But then we have Chintaka, or Shintaka. 
Shintaka Harath's book, uh, Wild Phantasm. So again, I will leave links to all of these down below in the description. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.